Honey, I will be loving you till it's evergreen. Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video. Um, so, you know, in the past year, um, I've been really busy um, working, um, writing a novel uh, with the help of my professors. I've um, been literally like writing 24-7 and um the process still ongoing currently um but yeah and did like a, also did like a um like a internship in, um at cctv um a uh, tv broadcasting station in beijing in the summer so the point being that you know haven't had the chance to play a lot of games um recently um so yeah you know just been like you know pretty busy doing all sorts of different crazy and um, you know different stuff so um haven't had the chance to play go in a while um but yeah um so in the past uh, few weeks been playing again and uh um so that you know i can comment on my own games because obviously you know you have to play to be able to comment on what you have played right um so um you know, just got a game real cool and just want to show it to you guys. Um, and I play a lot more games, don't worry. So hopefully, um, whenever I have the time now, I can uh, do a few commentaries, you know. Um, so uh, let's get on with the game here. Um, yeah, so... Um, um, oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm using white, oh yeah, I'm using white, yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, um, so up to now, um, you know, it's pretty, oh, and BTW, um, the point I'm showing this game right now is to, um, illustrate a point, which is, you know, as we progress, you know, into the modern, modern era of, um, Go, uh, it, it's getting harder and harder to play as black because then um, the Komi has just been, you know, really overwhelming. But playing on Taijam, the Komi is only 6.5. Um, but, um, but but as you can see, as you as you will see in the game, that um, it, you know, it's just really easy to play using white. Um, it's not just only for professional players, but for amateur players too. Um, so. Which is why I chose this game for um, for a commentary for today. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of people might want to play here, and um, you know maybe black would jump, or maybe not, right? But anyway, the move here um, I didn't really like it that much, just because later on black can invade your corner anyway, so you're not really getting too much with a uh, with a move here. So you know might as well tanuki. Right, and also the main the main point being that um, black probably will not respond to um, your move, so uh, in the game just chose to tanuki here, then which which you know black would definitely get the point here, um, since you know white didn't play the forcing move, um, but anyways so white played here, um, so. White could obviously play a uh, more moderate or more um, or more uh, easygoing uh, move, but you know Black can get a pretty good extension on the bottom, and now Black is aiming uh, for the invasion, the corner, right? Um, so you know instead of making Black play here, maybe White should take initiative and try to pincer first. Um, so Y chose to pincer black and black chose to attack my corner, uh, which is pretty reasonable, right? Because I have Tanuki here, so you should try to punish me um, in one way or another. So, um, you know, the reason why why play here felt pretty comfortable is because, um, you know, black is really, really Mm, strong over here, like the two space extension right here is pretty cool, right? So white doesn't really feel like guilt in making black even stronger than he already is. So white attaches here without any hard feelings, right? Um. So, um, actually, um, I kind of 
do not agree with the way Black played. Um, uh, if I were using Black, I probably would play the Joseki here. Um, because, y you know, you, like, um, you you're trying to, um, I don't know, like, attack or prevent White from forming a formation on the bottom. Because White already has a piece over here, right? So you, you want to prevent White from making a, um, you know, too much territory on the bottom or any sort of influence, right? So in this situation, um, you know, this is actually really difficult for white to play because black is already so strong over here, right? So um, if I remember correctly, the Joseki was something like, I don't know, like here, right? Um, so usually black will um, play like this one um, and then white will play uh, here, yeah. Um, if I remember the Joseki correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't played this Joseki in a while, so... Um, but the point being that um, uh, when Black has to move over here, um, it, it makes this cutting point really realistic now, because then Black is so strong here. If this stone was somewhere else, then there could be a cutting point in Black's shape, right? Because uh, if Black were to push, then the cutting point here might be more uh, more profound now that the liberty becomes shorter, right? But since the piece is so close, there's no cutting point at all. So, um, you know, that makes White's cutting point uh, more profound and more um, pronounced as well. Um, so... Um, you know, even now, um, I don't know, like, black just say honey, right? And then white, I don't know, just uh, place here. Uh, and then black can just play something like this, and then um, uh, pincer over here, which is pretty cool, right? Um, pretty cool. Uh, again, no damage whatsoever to the formation here, because what black already has a piece over here, right? Uh, and pardon me if I didn't play the Joseki variation correctly. Um, just haven't played this variation in like forever. <laughs> uh, but which is true because in the variation here is not that popular. It's kind of outdated uh, in modern uh, in modern sequence, right? Um, this one's actually more popular in the modern um, perception of Go, but it's just not very good in this situation because. Um, white will block over here and then so what will end up happening is that um so black gets a whole corner but see when white plays here white actually gets somewhat of a uh, somewhat of a uh, um like a foundation on the bottom right and this piece actually coordinates pretty well with the uh the influence over here which is pretty uh pretty interesting if you think about it right um so if this is the variation, then the pincer here is actually a, uh, or the double approach, sorry, um, here is actually kind of a failure, because then <laughs> it's almost dead right now, right? Um, so, see, black now has to worry about the three piece right here, the three um, stones over here. So, um, yeah, black tries to find a way to live uh, or to make eye shape. Um, this move I don't really quite get. Um, if you want to play on the second line, you might as well just go a little bit further and play here to reduce white even a little bit more. Um, I don't know, like, um, you know, white, uh, there's not really a good way to uh, split the one stone over here, but, uh, you know, if white tries to play, um, you know, some kind of, I don't know, um, some kind of move like this, you can, uh, you can, um, there's a lot of variation. You can go in um, and then white maybe, and then you can, you know, um, start a fight. Although this fight is actually quite difficult. <laughs> uh, never mind, but um, uh, maybe you can go back, right? Um, and now, see, white's shape is a lot more vulnerable because you have um, all kind of clamp and um, peep, right? Um, in the real game, the problem with going one line below is that you see the shape is very strong. You don't have any forcing move later on. And plus, you have, um, let's say if you Tanuki, right? This move is actually really powerful um, in that, um, right, in that the, the shape looks really awkward, right? So if you play here, um, the eye shape here is actually really, um, really uh, weird, right? Even if later on, why just Hane? Um, you lose a lot of points, right? So um, the shape here is almost like the two stones liberty is too short, right? It's too short. Um, so in the game, um, 
And this, is, this exchange, um, I, there's no reason to make it right now. Because, I mean, it's not like if you don't make it, it's not like I will play here. Right? I, I'm sorry. I mean, it's not like I will play here right away, right? It's all end game move, which is too early to be played um, at this point right now. Um, but anyway, so um, um, why? So you know, actually, this move, um, this move right here is actually um, it's actually detrimental to the one piece over here, uh, because if you don't play it now, um, this invasion could be you know even more severe, right? You're trying to pull out the stone, um, and now I don't know, like you know, jump or something, right? So I mean, it's totally doable, right? Um, but when Black plays a Hana here, like in my opinion, like in my point of view, um, it's trying to help White become even more solid than he already is, right? So, and Black comes back to playing here, which like I said before, um, it's pretty vital for Black's eye shape, because if you don't play and then White plays here, you Black, the shape feels really cramped. So it's like, I'll tighten up to one little spot, right? So what Black's got to play here, and also aiming for the Hane, right? Um, like the Hane over here, right? Which is, you know, as we can see, um, makes White's liberty really uncomfortable, right? Um, but in the game, White needs to play here, because otherwise, um, if White play here, um, the pincer is too painful, because then White does not have two eyes here, right? So White would need to help the, the you know the position here you know at the same time going into the center and you know so it's also like a developing kind of move right um um so yeah uh black okay this move the direction is kind of bad um so you can see that so there's two options for black right you can um you can play a move on the top or play a move on on the right right um so you know, on the top, there's more room, right? Because then this piece is quite away, quite far away from the, the corner over here. And this one piece is a lot closer to the corner than this one is, right? So you would want to play in an area that, that is more open. So um, this will be the better direction. But um, black play here, and as you can see, there's not much room to develop here at all, right? So why place it this one? Um, this move is actually now I think about it, it's kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Um, White probably should play. Um, I mean, if, if White wants to play on the top at all, probably should just play like I don't know, like a move here, and then Black probably play this one. Uh, I don't know, like White. Um, you can maybe wedge or even play here to be simple, and then uh, just move, play here, right? And, you know, so the game, you know, goes on, and then, uh, um, personally, I would like to take white, um, because, you know, you know, white's, um, position is quite effective everywhere, and if you count the points now, so there's, like, you know, around, I don't know, maybe close to, uh, 20 points here, if you count, like, the little influence and stuff, and then 15 points here, 5 points, um, you know, maybe 10 points, so, um, just forgot what I said, but, <laughs> Anyway, so white has around 50 points, right? And black got 15, um, that's around like 8, um, you know, that's 30. So, um, um, you know, it's quite even, but white has a little bit more influence, right? And like here, I didn't even count the points, and, um, you know, this could be more than 20, or uh, if white were to add another move, right? So, um, this way, white will be pretty happy too. So in the game, this move is not very good in that. Actually, sorry, never mind. Let me take that back. <laughs> so in the game, this move is really good because Black played um, terribly, right? Um, terribly. Because um, so usually, um, usually when someone plays a move like here, um, or like even um. Like any kind of move, like this kind of move, or like I don't know, like a move here, right? Um, you you need to make a judgment um, if you're using black, right? So the judgment is that you know it's a corner more valuable right now, or it's the outside influence more valuable, and you need to make a decision based on the whole board position, right? So usually, um, 
if you play here, that means you're you're making you're basically saying that you know the corner is more important, right? But in this situation here, right, the outside is so much more important because you know the area on the top is so open, right? So what Black should do is Black should play here, and probably I don't know why maybe um, I'm not trying to live somehow. Um, I don't know. Actually, this might not even. I don't know. Like, luckily, let's just assume. I'm thinking like maybe Black can play here, and then later on, um, play play. Uh, let's say like, uh, uh, and then later on play here, right? Um, but because then if you were to push, I can actually block now. Um, the cut doesn't really work very well, right? Um, so. But usually black block, right? Oh, oops. So usually black will block. Um, sorry, let me get back to. So usually black will block. Um, that being the normal variation and black and white live. So this is Joseki right here. But I'm just thinking like maybe now um, black can attach. But you know, let's not go that far. Let's just talk about the situation here, right? And then black might say extension on the top. So as you can see that white took away black's corner, but you know, black's influence here is actually really, um, you know, black probably made up, like just the points here probably already made up for the loss in the corner. And then there's influence, and then um, also later on, I don't know like, if you play like a jump, right? Later on, like, uh, black can maybe connect these two pieces together to make even greater moyle, right? Um, so, and plus, um, because black is a piece over here, um, you know, this actually took away a little bit of a white points too on the bottom, uh, or on the, on the right. Um, so that is usually the variation that will happen if uh, black blocks from the outside, which is clearly more important given that the top is so open right now. Um, but anyway, so in the game this happened, which is quite standard, but you see, um, Black got the corner, but white gained, uh, you know, uh, some kind of position on the top, right? Um, which is probably no less than the corner itself. And um, black play here, um, which is just another way to reduce the position on the top. Because if you were to play it, like, I don't know, um, like, like here, right? Then white can fix the whole territory with one move, right? Um, and black wouldn't want that to happen. So, you know, in Go, you're always trying to erase or reduce your opponent's position on the last second, like the second before everything's completed, which, you know, for white would be now, right? I mean, sorry, sorry, for black would be now, right? So, um, you know, uh, white, you know, defense and get a position here, and black keeps on pushing and white hunting. So this honey is actually quite an overplay because, you know, very clearly there's a cutting point here. But I kind of played it on purpose to invite um, Black to cut so that we can start a fight. And usually with a fight, um, you, know, the, you know, the game becomes more hyped up. And, you know, um, that's all the fun of Go, right? Cutting, right? Cutting, where the fun begins. And so if he doesn't cut, I'm actually going to be really disappointed. But... Luckily, he did cut, so I was kind of really happy, even though I don't know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Just really happy that you cut, right? Um, you know, it's not like I played this move, I planned out like how the fighting is going to happen, but no, I'm just trying to fight, that's all, right? Um, so, um, but, any, but yeah, anyway, so when I did play here, I did have this kind of, um, this shape, I already had it in my mind. Just didn't know what's going to happen afterwards, right? So, and black push, and, you know, play here, and this one, um, white jump, um, and black jump. So here's the deal, right? So the reason why um, uh, out jokes or, like, you know, whatever is set aside, the, the, you know, the move here, the reason why, um, you know, it, it could be doable is that, um, um, you know, in my mind, I um, had a really quick diagram, which is what happened in the game, right? So he played exactly the way I wanted him to play, which is really bad. Right? You're never trying to make your opponent's wish come true. and But he made my wish come true, so happy early birthday or whatever. Um, so anyway, so you see, 
all, all the move till now is kind of forced, right? You have to jump, otherwise, when Y plays here, not only does it attack your four, uh, four stones over here, but also expand the moil on the bottom, so you have to play here, right? And then Y can play this one to attack your five stones, and all of a sudden you feel like, you know, these are in trouble, like almost immediately, right? So, because Black played exactly the way I wanted him to play, so that's why um, the game became very unfavorable for him really quickly. So, um, probably he needs to cut here, I'm not sure, but going back, um, um, looking at it, he probably needs to play mm, this variation, so I don't know. And then, uh, uh, let's see, yeah, probably white with Atari, um, so, and then black turns. And um, if white, I don't know, um, probably white to a Atari here. Um, black can even pull the piece out here. So this fighting is a lot more complicated than the other one, for sure. Because in the other one, it, you know, there's actually not much fighting going on. Because when white plays here, um, frankly, black is in trouble, right? Um, which, you know, you will see very soon why. Um, okay, so so first of all, if you were to push, right, this is probably the first intuition, but no, the problem with pushing is that um, Black is short on liberty here, right? So Black has to try something else, and cross-cutting seems to be the most um, viable option. Um, so if White plays anything else, right, if White pulls back, um, now Black can Atari here. And there's no way for black, I mean, sorry, for white to um, uh, split black, right? Um, or I'm sorry, there might have been a way, but uh, like this, right? This is a way white can split black apart. Um, so yeah, um, pulling back could work, right? Um, let's see. Um, and also, um, um, white, uh, okay, now, okay, so what doesn't work is with white plays here, sorry. So here now, um, you know, black connect, right? So now black's aiming to capture your one piece here and, you know, uh, and capturing your one piece here. But actually, never mind, this also, this also doesn't work for black, because <laughs> um, white can Atari here first. And if you extend, I pull back, and now you can't really capture me because then you're short on liberty. So never mind. Actually, no matter how wide plays, this cross cut wouldn't work. You know, I thought I played really clever in the real game, but it turns out that no matter where I played, uh, black would have been dead anyways. So never mind my cleverness. Um, so in the game I play here, which is pretty clear, right? If you were to capture this one, I can push all the way, right? But the other two the other two variations, like I just showed you guys, also seem to work. So never mind. Um, this move doesn't work regardless of where white plays. So at this point, black is pretty pretty much screwed because then um, you know you cannot play here, right? I just Atari. There is one other variation black could potentially play, and that would be to um, to connect right here. So the whole point of connecting right here is that you're trying to start a uh, liberty race, or um, um, and so here's how it happens, right? So black can cut here um, because the ladder works for black. Uh, white actually cannot Atari. I mean, white cannot ladder black, right? White could Atari, but cannot ladder black. Um, so this actually could get quite complicated because then. Um, you know, these four stones and the five stones right here are both short on liberties. So, you know, if white plays like this, the game could get really complicated, you know, very easily. Because then, essentially, you know, you are you you know you have two groups where black can choose which one to start a, a liberty race, right? But the um, the problem is that um, if black plays here, um, like like the di the diagram I just showed you guys, right? Um, when black escape, white can actually play connect right here. So essentially, because white's liberty here is so so long, so essentially in this situation, um, you know, white will only have to worry about the four stones over here, 
and so far, you know, there's not very, um, there's not a very efficient way for Black to capture my four stones, right? Because obviously, Black is kind of short on liberties here too. Um, so uh, yeah, so because you know now White doesn't have to worry about these four, so the liberty is too long, right? So at least when I play here, I you know all the variations I just showed you guys, you know I already read that out when I play here. So um, I I think Black did too, so he cut first, which doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, and I connect right, um, and he tries to play here, which doesn't really do much. Um, and then he peep, which is terrible, um, because uh, at least before, um, this escape could potentially be possible, but now you peeped, which is like losing a liberty. Uh, because later on, if you connect, um, you know, and I play here, this doesn't really, this peep doesn't really do much at all, right? So Black tries to go crazy and play some, some other move, um, which, you know, doesn't really work, right? So why uh, plays here? Uh, this move is terrible. Um, I, I need to play a move like this one um, because I'm really winning by so much by capturing the five uh, black piece right here. So I should probably play safer. So I just need to play in the corner here. And the block here is too greedy. It's just terrible. Um, it's definitely better to play safe when you're winning. So this will be a better option, right? Um, and black plays here, which doesn't really work. Um, uh, as you see very soon, why? Because then if you're Atari here, white can actually Atari this one, so you cannot capture any, you know, any one of white's piece uh, besides a little one right here, which doesn't really do much at all, right? Um, so up till now, and the game went on for a little bit more, but as you can tell, um, because you know black got captured here. Um, you know the game was pretty much was pretty much effectively over, right? Um, oops. So, like I said before, uh, in the beginning, that the reason I want to go over um, this one, right, uh, this particular game, is that um, you know I want to show that progressively it's getting harder and harder to um, play using black, right? The comb has been you know pretty overwhelming because then. You, you know, even um, even until this point, um, let's say till now, um, you, you see that the the thing with white shape is that they're all pretty um, uh, spread out and pretty effective, right? Got like ten points here, like fifteen, fifteen, like maybe I don't know, ten here. And black never played any like move that's you know obviously like you know you know horrendous or terrible, right? Just Black play like you know mediocre, right? But somehow you just feel that black is somewhat behind already, right? Like you know you got like I don't know like thirty points here at the most, right? And you got like I don't know you got like twelve points here and then like eight, so you got like fifty points, which is about you know what white has on the board fifty, right? But white also has Comey and there's a little bit of influence here, a little bit of influence here, right? So white's definitely leading right now and that's kind of scary because then this is only like what the 50th, 50th move um but you see you, both players just play normally and somehow somehow you know black just becomes behind right so um right so that just kind of um kind of counterintuitive um so usually um the game, you know, the strategy of the game is that, uh, in my opinion, if you're using block, um, you should try to um, initiate some kind of fighting, right? You don't want to play too peacefully um, throughout the whole game, unless your end game or unless your opening is just perfect. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, in that case, you can do really, really well, right? But if you are you know, if you're good at fighting, then definitely try to stimulate and um, try to initiate a fighting um, scenario so that the game can turn towards your favor if you're using black. And if you're using white, you kind of have a little bit more leeway going on, like you could fight if you're good at fighting. Or if you, can, if you want to play peacefully, um, you know, the points would probably be in your favor too because of Comey, right? Um, now, of course, um, 
the assumption I'm making right now is if you know both players are you know playing um, peacefully and there's no huge mistake uh, made by either player, right? So if both players play really peacefully and there's no huge mistake, then the game could easily turn in wise favor in the end, right? If two people are, are you know at the same level, so um, so the point I just want to make is that anyway. So the point is that um, I'm trying to encourage you guys to fight a little bit more. Um, and not only is that is it that um, it's easier to play when you're fighting, but also um, you can really help your reading, right? You can help you improve your reading and uh, and probably give you more chance at winning any kind of game because fighting is just, you know, uh, essentially one of the key points to playing Go in general, right? So um, fight more and, um, and you know, practice that reading a little bit more and um, you, we'll all be all right, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this game and I will see you guys later.